Welcome everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys are inside, hit that subscribe, like, share. Thank you for tuning in. Um, follow me up on social media, best way to get in contact with me. And I think, how are we going to do this? Um, we got... Josh Johnson, Drake versus Kendrick explained to white people. Oh my days, this is going to be funny. All right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um... <clears throat> If y'all don't know about the whole Kendrick and Drake beef that's happened and going on for the last couple of weeks, um, Kendrick officially won that battle back and forth. But I find, I've seen a few from Josh Johnson. Um, and I think I should have reacted to a couple of his comedies. You know, I like his style of comedy. Um, comedy, calm, collective, kind of chill. Seems like he's kind of high, um, stoned. I'm not saying he is, but that's his whole vibe, though. Just chill, man. Let's go. I don't know if you... I don't know if you've been following this, uh, maybe not. I just realized how white this room is. Uh. <laughs> Already. I mean, it's pop culture. You probably heard about it. I mean, it, it, I don't know if you've been watching this whole Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of black people inside this room. I'm my, sure. my, my. <laughs> what a time to be alive <laughs> yeah yeah all right good. so drake and kendrick they are rappers sir they're rappers <laughs> yes, okay just let's break it down. i want to make sure everybody <laughs> And I'm not acting like I know. You might bump Kendrick all the time. You might be a big Pimp a Butterfly fan. You know, I'm just, just checking. <laughs> this boy, you know. So, Drake and Kendrick's relationship actually goes back way further than people realize because Drake brought Kendrick with him on tour when Kendrick was like just starting to pop, but Drake was already a big deal, right? And it seemed like they were cool. You see these old interviews, they're in pictures together, they have such nice things to say about each other. And then along the line, something changed. <laughs> something happened. Yep. And we don't know what that thing is really, but they both started to kind of like go at each other in small ways. And, and some people take it all the way back to the control verse. Kendrick did a verse in a song on, uh, it was actually a Big Sean song. Big Sean is a rapper, sir. These are, <laughs> I just want to, all of these are just names and I want to make sure that we're all up to speed. We're on the right so track. he did a, a verse on a Big Sean song called Control, but it blew up so much it became Kendrick's verse. It became the Control verse, which is crazy. And in, and in, that, in that verse, he went at everybody. He said, he called people out by yeah, name, song. you know? <laughs> and he said, I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you. I'm trying to make sure that your fans don't even love you anymore. They love me so much. I'm coming for the crown. I'm coming for everything, right? And just about everybody thought that it was actually pretty dope. It was actually <laughs> like, okay, hip-hop as a sport. Like, hip-hop as, mm. you know, a fun thing, a contest to see who's actually the best. Because everybody, so, everybody calls themselves the best on every song. Eventually, someone has to be the best. Mm. You know, yep, every yep. rapper believes that they're the best and they say so in their music. A lot Facts. like how Facts. one city will have several First Baptist churches. <laughs> <laughs> the when you look third. around, you're like, one of y'all has to actually be first, right? This can't, how can y'all even all claim to be first? This is confusing. That's so true, First Baptist. You know? And so he releases the control verse. Now, this is something, maybe this is where it started. It's where a lot of people say it started, but maybe it was something else. But Drake seemed to take some sort of issue yeah. with the love that Kendrick was getting for that verse, he with him feelings. being called out, even though he's someone that helped, you know, uh, Kendrick out in the beginning. This is a long, long, so I'm not going to pause as much. But he got in his fucking feelings. Everybody Kendrick called on that control verse, every name he called on that control verse, except for Drake, all took it as competitive sport. They, they all got interviewed and they were like, nah. Every one of them got interviewed and they were like, nah. 
I don't, I don't take no offense in it. Man, this is hip hop. You know, it's about com competition. So the bare fact he mentioned my name, I'm thinking like, you know, he, he, he has me up there in the best lyricist. Like, you know, thank you for calling my name. That means you consider me a threat. Everybody, except for Drake. Drake got in his feelings and, oh, I didn't like what he said. He shouldn't have said nothing like that. The only in person to make an issue. <laughs> but even in interviews, Kendrick explained himself. He said, like, this is a, this is a contest to see who's the best. You it's see, all I love, said, yeah. right? Yeah, I just said that. Mm -hmm. But Drake... Drake has, okay, Drake has, <laughs> I'm trying to be fair, Drake has a lot of feelings that you can tell because he has a lot of albums, and there are, <laughs> there are feelings on every one of those albums, and some people don't have several albums worth of feelings, some people only have four or five albums worth of feelings, you know, and some people decide when to let it out, and he just lets it out on a pretty tight schedule, a pretty... <laughs> A pretty regimented schedule of release to let out all of his feelings, you know? And, uh, and he said, he's like, I just didn't like it. It didn't feel sincere. I didn't, I, you know, I just didn't vibe with he said this, you know. the whole thing. Because then I saw him later and he was all nice to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said in his interview, it was all love. It's just a contest. And, and then from there, they had, they had like a weirdness. And then there's like little things. You can listen to certain songs where Drake seems to be like digging right at Kendrick, but in a way where you have to really look at it and wonder, right? Not saying his name. And then Kendrick even does a little bit of the same. But even, even after a little bit of this had kicked off, they still worked together one or two more times, right? Because Drake was on Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick's album, and... Kendrick was on Take Care. So there's, mm. there's still at least a professional relationship there to some degree, right? Fast forward a few years and Drake's really big. Yeah. And when I say really big, he's like... I'm impressed there yeah, for a comedian. He knows his shit. He knows his shit. Like, my man, like, this guy's like, I know it's more recent, but don't let me find out he's like a hip-hop connoisseur. Like, he knows his shit. I know this is more recent Drake and Kendrick, but even go back to Take Care. But for like, I mean, I'm just saying here, he knows his shit better than most, and he's doing a comedy skit with it. You know, so I'm quite impressed. And Josh Johnson, I'm fucking impressed. You go, my boy. I'm going to start watching more of you just because of this. <laughs> because I'm like, yeah, you letting these people know the exact story. <laughs> what Bad Bunny is now, he was back then, like top... Top, top, top in the world, right? Bad money, yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. wanted to be Drake. Everybody wanted to sing a little bit of Drake. He was number one on Spotify. Every time he released, it was a big deal. And so some people, admittedly, were very jealous of Drake. Mm -hmm. You know, there were people who started to go at Drake a little bit. And you go for the top, though. Drake is a good writer. He may, he may have writers that he works with. He may have... <laughs> But he's also good. It's like when he's when he's making yeah, music. This guy's a dickhead. Yo, Josh, why are you such a fool? <laughs> you a fool. The way he just pauses on the yeah, he got riders. Oh, you know he's been accused. Yo, you a fool for this, bro. <laughs> Every time he released, it was a big deal. And so some people, admittedly, were very jealous of Drake. Mm. You know, there were people who started oh, to go at Drake a little bit. Well, and man, Drake I need, is I need, I need a good writer. He may, he may have writers that he works with. He may have. <laughs> but he's also good. It's like when he's, when he's making music, everyone in the room is good. That's. <laughs> I'm trying to give him his. Pro I'm trying to be objective. And y'all are trying to lean me into way. No, this. you're fucking for that. <laughs> I'm trying not to choke on my smoke. You are fucking with that. You're bullshit for that. You trying to say when he's in the room, everybody's a what do you think? <laughs> because he's the one to make all his ghostwriters write good. Yeah, you take. <laughs> but he's also good. It's like yeah. when he's when he's making music, everyone in the room is good. That's. <laughs> That's taking the piss. <laughs> I'm trying to give him his pro I'm trying to be objective. And y'all are trying to lean me into way this. <laughs> You're bullshit for this. <laughs> but he's good. And so, you know, Meek Mill. Meek Mill is a rapper. Sorry. Meek Mill. 
Because that one wasn't a name. I just want to make sure that at no point you don't think that this is like punctuation or anything. Because the names are going to get weirder as I go, right? Okay. <laughs> Meek Mill came at Drake, and Drake, really, truly, even if you hate Drake, Drake destroyed Meek Mill. Oh, yes, he did. He destroyed Meek he Mill did. He did. so bad that Meek Mill had to go back to jail just to, <laughs> just to level out some of that street cred. Because you, if you remember, Meek Mill went back to jail. My man said Drake fucked up Meek Mill so bad he had to go back to the jail to get back some street cred. Yo. Yo, Josh, you need chill, bro. You need to chill, bro. No, I knew you were funny, but you know, this is fucking hilarious now. Oh, yeah. No, fuck this. Fuck this. Come, come, come. I don't even think I'm subscribed to your channel. Let me. Have I subscribed? Be, be subscribing right now, bro. Let me, let me put all inside. I see you got a P. Diddy one. Yeah, I, I didn't even look at that. I just saw it there. But now, now you're making me go. Look at me knocking off my headphones. Now you're making me go back and I'm going to be checking out your stuff. Y'all want to see me do some more reaction to Josh Johnson? Let me know. I'm going to be reacting to him anyways. But yeah, no, nah, let's go. Let's go. Jail for a while on like this weird, this, this weird aspect of probation that they even tried to get changed as a law. So then Meek Mill became this like face of, 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 of changing incarceration and changing the criminal justice system everything because he could because he had to because he had to do something else yeah. for a little while because drake really <laughs> ate him up all right i'm not blaming drake but this is fun and so more time passes and there's still not much between kendrick and drake in this moment right and then drake gets into it and i i want to be clear because a lot of people sometimes feel bad for Drake in a way that I want to be clear. He does start a lot of this stuff. He does like have a little thing in a song that implies that your wife is unfaithful. And then when you come at him directly, he's like, what's with all the hate? I'm all love. It's like, no. I fucking love this guy. No diddy. I fucking love John, jo Josh Johnson. No diddy. Yo, this... This man is hitting at the root cause of some of the fucking bullshit that people do not like about him. You understand? There's, there's boundaries. And when you hear you jump on people's wives, exes, baby mothers, and then you end up moving to them trying to fuck them, you can't be coming all why nobody likes me. You're fam. There's just certain things that you, you know, like... Yo, Josh is hitting this on the nail on the And head. then... Come on now. Come on. Drake gets into it. And I, I want to be clear because a lot of people sometimes feel bad for Drake in a way that I want to be clear. He does start a lot of this stuff. <laughs> he does like have a little thing in a song that implies that your wife is unfaithful. And then when you come at him directly, he's like, what's with all the hate? I'm all love. It's like, no, 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 no. no. It's beef, bro. It's beef. The best way I can describe it is that Drake kind of fights like a cat. <laughs> like a cat, you know. And some rappers fight like dogs. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, he'll do a little paw and he'll be like, what's the issue? <laughs> and so, Drake went at Pusha T. Crody. Which was a true mistake. This is the thing, this is the thing about... <laughs> people like Pusha T, right? You don't want to mess with anyone who's actually had a hard life. <laughs> you know? Like, you know, Drake grew up in Canada, grew up with... Like, it's just... This is my thing. A lot of people come at Drake for... You know, they, they come in a, in a way I don't like. They come at him in, in this, like, colorism way where he's like, you're not really black because you're half white. I don't roll with any of that. I just, I just truly think... <laughs> but you see, you see what I'm talking about. I'm not. not. Y'all try to get me to do something I'm not doing. The crowd don't get him in trouble. I'm just you know? saying it's very hard for a rapper to seem hard, right? When they have not been through what other rappers have been through. Like it's it's hard to go hard when everybody knows you had health care. <laughs> Cause
Because I'm not saying there aren't hardened criminals in Canada. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that if somebody knows that anytime you were sick, you could call a doctor. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of like, I'll kill you. It's like, yeah, but if I hurt you, you go to a doctor immediately. Like, <laughs> So anyway, Kendrick, Kendrick is still off doing his thing, releasing amazing music, but Drake gets into it with Pusha T, which was a mistake because he told Pusha T, he's like, I got more money than you. I got more women than you. I'm more famous than you'll ever be. And then Pusha T said, you have a son. <laughs> He released the fact that Drake had a son, which people didn't know, on a track that's cover was Drake in blackface. Everything about what Pusha D did to Drake is why you don't get involved with people like Pusha T. You're like... I, like <laughs> You know, a part yeah. of me felt bad for Drake. Drake yeah. was probably like John at the mouth and everything and didn't know he he'd do research. You know, Drake is sitting there like, guys, I thought we were rhyming. I thought that <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were making music. What is this? <laughs> it's a so anyway, rap. now Drake perceivably takes care of his son. And <laughs> because of push a T. You know. Um, Whatever. Um, <laughs> and so fast forward some more, and you would think that Drake could sort of learn his lesson of like, <laughs> man, I shouldn't throw stones when I might have a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> and for his part, I will say this, for, for his part, every time somebody comes at Drake, he does come at them pretty hard, pretty heavy, and he does release music that his fans love, and there are a lot of his fans. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying that's something that I thought about going into this thing, where I was like, he always does really try to like give you something, but what he, what he gives is, is twofold. What, Drake is usually trying to give you that sort of earworm, trying to give you that thing that takes you to a place beyond the beef. So now people will still play back to back and, and, and songs that were responses to beefs he's had in the past, just as songs to enjoy, you know? Mm, he turns them into um, a club record. And so this year. <laughs> Drake and J. Cole started, you know, they started doing appearances together. Like, J. Cole would pop up at Drake's concert. And J. Cole is also someone who I genuinely Top believe lyricist. is yep. one of the most talented, yep. phenomenal, musically inclined artists yep. Top three. that I've encountered. I really enjoy his music. I don't know him as a person, and I don't, I, I'll, I'll, I think he's amazing, right? So he is on. A, you know, a couple of Drake songs after they appear together last year, and I and it, it made me listen to those songs. I was like, "Oh, Jake Cole, okay." You know, because I I admittedly I hadn't listened to Drake in a in a in a long time because I only have a certain amount of feelings. <laughs> I feel like I got pretty far. I feel like I listened to several albums, and then at a certain point, I was like, "I feel grown." Like, <laughs> oh shit. You know? Did he and just say, I feel grown? That's like a subliminal, because you know what we're going in to talk about, what he's been accused of. Making music for all the kids. <laughs> Yo, that, that, that's... Josh, you, Josh. <laughs> and anyway, they do a song together, and then they do a song called First Person Shooter. Mm -hmm. And in First Person Shooter, they're going back and forth about... How, how great the era is and how great they are. And First Person Shooter is a fantastic song, right? And then uh, J. Cole in the song says, uh, I'm, like, you'll forgive me if I'm getting it wrong, but he says, uh, um, maybe something like, we're the top three, who, you know, top two, three, okay. And then he was like, he was like, is it, what is it, is it Kendrick, is it Aubrey or me? 
because we're the big three, like we started the league. But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali, right? Yo, he knows his shit, bro. And I guess, I guess <laughs> Kendrick heard that <laughs> and took it as a personal affront. <laughs> Beef blood. I I wouldn't have, I Yo, wouldn't have felt that well, like if if, if I just went two people Katie. were like man Mac. we're the best ever and Josh is great too and I wasn't even there I would be like oh thanks no. <laughs> but I'm not built like Kendrick no Kendrick is different different you know? breed and so then Hood later uh, later me. we would also find out that apparently. Drake tried to get Kendrick on that track. So he knew it was coming up and he didn't want any part of it. And then I guess he hated that he was mentioned. So then Metro Boomin and Future, Metro Boomin and Future are rappers. That, <laughs> Cause that could have been a label name. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of you at all. I'm just making sure everybody is up to speed and you're right in front of me. That's all that's happening, right? <laughs> so Metro Boomin and Future, you know, uh, they release an album called We Don't Trust You, and on it is a track called Like That. Now, Like That is uh, where Kendrick does essentially the control effect on this song. He does a verse that really made me forget it was a song. I, I don't know yeah. what anyone else said on the song. about Metro and Future. Right? And on the song... He says, fuck the big three, it's just big me, right? Which is also, which is also, hey, I've always said I want to be the best. I've said it from day one. As soon as people started interviewing me, I said I want to be the best. As soon as people started listening to my music, I said I wanted to be the best. This is not out of character for me. This is the same thing I did 10 years ago, right? Mm. So just mm -hmm. for me, Real if it were me, if I, if I was one of them, if I was Drake and I heard fuck the big three, it's just big me, I also wouldn't take it as a personal affront <laughs> <laughs> like he did because there were other there were other things in the song where he came at, at Drake specifically he didn't really have much for J. Cole and and yeah it just sat for a while it sat and everybody was like ooh what are Drake and Cole gonna do and then Cole was actually I think the first one to release he yeah, released yeah. this song they since taken down called 7 Minute Drill and he, and he went at Kendrick in the song and then he took it down and a lot of people clowned him for it, but it's something that even, I'm not, I'm not being a revisionist here. I said this when it happened. I was like, I respect the fact that he took it down because he, it's not something he really wanted to do. Mm, and the internet up. is all gas, no brakes. The internet will get you to mess up your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, you know I mean? people you don't know are like, I wouldn't take that if I was you. What you gonna do? Like shit, bro. Huh? Yeah, I like do something, it. huh? Mm. Huh? Josh people who are very safe shit. at home, I wouldn't. Yeah. Mm, if I was yeah. you, if yeah. I was you, oh, yeah. I go at his neck. I would. Yeah. Oh, I eat him alive if I was you. Do something. Always the case. People who are safe at home got their job, got their fucking income. Were quick to be like, ah, oh, what are you doing? I'm not taking that, bro. Go ride on them. But you got your shit good. You wouldn't do it, but you're going to advise somebody else to do it. Fuck off, man. Draco made the smartest move. Especially if he had inside tips saying that, yo, this beef has nothing to do with you, bruv. Don't get involved. It's going to get nasty. Don't get involved. If you get inside tip telling you that and your boys, you and the boy cool, because when he went with that seven-minute drill, I know KDOT did not take that personally. That was kind of a friendly competition because that's what they do. J. Cole and Kendrick understands that. Drake is the only one who started crying like a little girl. Man, do it, do it, do it. And so he took it down and, and he even said, he's like, I didn't feel like doing it, so it's not even good. I kind of just went at him a little bit. And it's true. Mm. In the song, he doesn't even say anything that bad. Uh, he's just like, one of your albums was boring. <laughs> I, I won't even say which one. <laughs> Black. And then he took it down because he said, I don't know, I, this felt corny. And I respected the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. few men, grown men, famous men, powerful men, very few ever apologize. Mm. Very few ever apologize did, yeah. without being made to with the threat of losing their money, losing their fame, losing mm. something. Very few men. So I respect that. And, and people clowned him to no end. But then the actual beef between Drake and Kendrick started. And yep. that was a lot.
because Drake released a song called Push Ups, and he didn't just go with Kendrick. He went at a bunch of people and, you know, implied that uh, Kendrick's wife was unfaithful, that his son might not be his and everything. And people are like, well, what's Kendrick going to do? What's going to happen? Right. And then, you know, he releases another song. And this song is AI. This song is, is Drake uh, with the late Tupac and Snoop Dogg. And it's going at Kendrick. And some people had their feelings about that. But then, oof, 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 yeah. oof, <laughs> oof, <laughs> oof, on a random morning, on a random morning, <laughs> I was, you know, it was right about the time I was supposed to say my random fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> prayers anyway you know your you know your morning prayers you know your thank you god for waking me up this morning right and uh, kendrick dropped a song called euphoria oh shit and i think when it happened a lot of people <laughs> including me was like oh this is an actual like rap beef now in the way that we had in the 90s these, like these dudes do not like each other and Kendrick says he hates them in the song he says I hate you he said it a lot he said I hate you a lot like, <laughs> hate he did artistically but he was like ooh I hate you ooh <laughs> ooh I hate you ooh right I hate the way you walk I hate and, the way you dress uh, I hate the way you <laughs> woof it was a lot, right? And then, <laughs> and then you know, Drake released. Actually, no, Kendrick released one. He released so many, I actually lost count. So then he released a song that I didn't even get to fully digest because he released, and then Drake released his response. And this was like what Drake had been waiting for. This was like all these, I mean, in my opinion, all these years of like, I was nice to you, and then you came at everybody, including me, and all I'm doing is writing my feelings down in albums and making money. And like, I just want to be number one. I just want to be the best with feelings. I want to be the best. <laughs> And so he just took everything, everything that he had, and he put it in a song called Family Matters, right? And 20 minutes later. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 20 minutes later, Kendrick released a song called Meet the Grams, which is a real, was a real playoff Family Matters. And he, and, and he had said in 616 before, he was like, have you ever thought about the fact that like, people in your camp are working for me, that everyone hates you so much, they feed me information about you, and that there's no way that you're gonna win this because I write so many songs, because all I do is hang out with my wife and my kids and I write, right? This is all that I do. I enjoy this. This is my favorite thing to do, is just sit at home and hate you and write songs about you and how much I hate you, so I can go forever. This will never be over. We can chill, we can just go back and forth, and I'll release 20 for every one that you release. You keep saying that it's a one be 20 and it is it's one of you and it's 20 songs of me every <laughs> single day until the both of us die this is old black Yo. man hate you gotta understand this doesn't happen black, black, this doesn't happen black. with people under 60 almost ever Yo, this, is like old, this is old this is old 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 we knew each other during hate. the civil rights movement hate that he brought to this battle hey, and drake hey. was like guys i thought we were rhyming <laughs> This is a different me, bro. This is true hatred. True hatred. And in Meet the Grams, you know, he laid it down. He started the song by talking to Drake's son. Talking to Drake's son, being like, I'm sorry that's your father. <laughs> I'm genuinely, I'm sorry that's your father because I can tell he's not raising you well because I can tell he's not living a good life and he's not a decent man, okay? And so if you don't understand this right now because you're six, play it back when you're 18, okay? <laughs> He said lots of things. He said, said very, he said things that are illegal. He said Drake was doing <laughs> things that, ooh, he's, you can listen to it. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> woof. <laughs> woof. <laughs> I, oh. He even had this effect in the song. At the end of the song, when he's like, you lied, he called him a liar several times, and he's like, you lied. I was like, oh, that's, that's too much. That... And he tells him, he tells him about himself. He talks to his son, he talks to his dad, he talks to his mom, and then he talks to him directly, right? He also talks to, potentially, a daughter that Drake is not taking care of. Which I was listening to, and I was like, not again. I feel like... 
I feel like once they find the first kid, you gotta just get all the kids. You gotta just have a whole gram family just so you know where everybody is. For real, for real. You know? And people go back and forth. Does he have a daughter? Does he not have a daughter? Some people think they've even found the daughter, everything like that. And yes. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's really bad. It's so bad. And, and, and honestly, I never wanted to get to a bad place. This is something, I, I'll talk about this more in the future and everything, but I, I have, a, I have a, a deep love, but a strange relationship with hip hop. Because if everything is in music, it's all good. It's when things leave music that things get bad, mm -hmm. you know? And so as much as I, I joke about Drake and I like Kendrick and I've liked some of Drake's songs, I don't actually want them to do anything to each other. You know what I mean? Now, if what Kendrick is saying about Drake is true, we should, we should lock Drake up. <laughs> we should lock Drake up. And, and if what Drake is saying about Kendrick is true, we should lock Kendrick up, all right? Because, you know, it's a, it's a rap battle, two dudes that hate each other. Maybe they're lying, who knows. But I'm just, I'm just saying, this, this thing, I didn't want to see anything bad happen to either one of them. But when Meet the Grams got released, I think, I don't know what Drake thinks and I don't know what his life is like, especially right now. But I think back to those battles and those beefs in the 90s and I've, I wonder if Drake wasn't like, I'd like to be shot, please. Like, <laughs> like, if you could just plug me one time and then we can smooth the thing over. <laughs> because then, Oy. as if Meet the Grams wasn't enough, Kendrick released a song called Not Like Us, <laughs> which is the catchiest way to call somebody a <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> You be dancing to it, forgetting what the song is about. Like, you know, like. And then Drake released The Heart Part 6. PD file. PDF file. And I, th I, th I think that's when he lost. I think. Because <laughs> in The Heart Part 6, he's like, this was all part of my plan. We fed you information about me for you to say. So everything that you said is wrong. And I, don't you feel dumb now that I tricked you? And it just kind of felt like... <laughs> you know like what a you know like what a kid okay you know like when you play a rock paper scissors <laughs> and you do rock and then the kid does scissors and you're like I'll be and they're like no actually these are lasers <laughs> <laughs> Paper because I was played. like, Drake, Drake, if it was part of your plan to feed Kendrick information about you for him to rap about very well, by the way, like, be, like even if those are lies, they do sound good and they sound very true. Uh, even if you fed him all this information about you to rap about to then look dumb when it was wrong, why would you send him that stuff? That's, that's the worst stuff you could send somebody. <laughs> Hey, tell him this thing about me that's not true but was true once and tell him tell him I'm a thing that no one wants to be. <laughs> oh my god. So now that it's over, because I do hope it's over. I feel like Drake should just release some songs about some feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, when you said about Drake's song, he released that before Kendrick dropped that, um, not like us track, yeah. But, yeah, his analogy, his whole set up, his whole cadence, his knowledge of everything is impeccable. I fucking, I fucks with this. I'm gonna be doing some more reactions of him. For this in my comedy playlist y'all like and share the content thank you for tuning in i appreciate each and every one of you being here that was a nice long reaction might be one of my longest but yeah um take care be safe out there and i'll see each and every one of you on the next one be blessed